Hey everybody out there on YouTube land, this is Roy Carter from Exitude Media, and uh, here's some interesting stuff going on on YouTube. Now I see here in Canada, we have this uh, thing called state-run broadcasting, called CBC. Now they take tons of taxpayer money and don't represent both sides of the political spectrum. They're very left-leaning, very socialist. Total pussies, um, I don't think I really see anybody on there with any kind of guts whatsoever that actually has, you know, any up kind of objective viewpoints whatsoever. So, um, I did this little thing where, you know, the last little while I've been kind of calling out CPC, especially since this whole Epstein thing came out, and I have, like, a bunch of different accounts, and I think it's kind of funny how I haven't really gotten any, um, backlash on any of the comments that I put on for CBC on YouTube. And so, I just want to show our American friends and the people in the world, and maybe even Canadians who are watching this, just how censorious our wonderful YouTube here is in Canada. Now, I, I know pretty much YouTube has pretty much screwed the pooch and is killing everything uh, that ever made it profitable to begin with, but let's do something interesting here, because I have my own YouTube channel, but I also have a personal one too. So, let's go to CBC News, and uh, go to we'll go to one of the more... Uh, like, non-political one, because the thing about CBC is that you're actually lucky if you can actually uh, post, because, you know, for a taxpayer-funded uh, news organization, they sure do like to censor people's uh, opinions. I mean, uh, look right here, U.S. impeachment things. Chat is disabled for this live stream. Yep, yeah, no, not going to happen here. No, oh, no, you're not going to be able to leave any comments. Of course not. So let's uh, go to what I'm trying to say here. Um, we'll go to this uh, guy, Ian Williams, who just wrote one stupid book about being in the fucking Caribbean. And he gets a fucking Giller Awards when, you know, Jordan B. Peterson, Sheila Gunn Reed sell probably more copies than anything ever. And, uh, you know, but he doesn't, they don't, they don't get anything there. Okay, so let's go to what I decided to post on the CBC. Now, Rectitude Media, which is my channel right here, as you can see, I've got a couple of things up here on 18 minutes ago, and there's only 11 comments, so you know, you'd think that, you know, 18 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, that, that's enough time for it to stay up on the thing there, you know. Sheila Gunn Reed and Jordan B. Peterson need not apply despite selling more books, right, commie scum? The prize goes to Jeffrey Epstein for not killing himself! Yay! Way to go, fake news, CBC! Alright, so as you can see right there, I got my thing, and all that jazz. So, let us go and switch my account to Roy Carter. Hmm. This is one that I don't really do a whole lot of political stuff on. So, same video. We'll just close that stupid little ad thing there. And now let's go and see where the... No rectitude media posts. Now, who would have fucking thought? Look at that. I even replied to this guy right here. But, oh. Let's see. Let's see. Nope. Nope. But all the social progressive douchebags. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They get to put their fucking comment on there. So, even if I go and what I have been doing on my uh, rectitude media by calling all the uh, Canadian... 500 million dollar recipients of uh, Trudeau, I mean each year as I'm, to, uh, as I'm led to assume <coughs> Trudeau uh, sycophants <clears throat> for the CBC yes because the Canadian you know the cuckold broadcasting corporation of Canada needs to censor my opinions because god forbid you see and it's funny how this doesn't show up on my rectitude media one either so it's almost as if like both of them are kind of fucked so, uh, that just goes to show you the uh, censorship here in Canada. See, I mean, like, really, why do I even post on YouTube? Well, it's mostly because at this point, it's like telling, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of a pointless thing when you think about it. I don't know. But it just goes to show you just uh, how corrupt they are at, at the CBC and just how they do not like any other opinion aside from the bullshit that they fucking spread to people. And so I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I feel pretty, uh, pretty good right now because, uh, you know, it just goes to show you how uh, horrible the uh, the media is here in Canada and uh, how much of a communist Orwellian hellhole our country's turned into. So 
Thank you very much for listening to me, and uh, keep on rocking in the free world. Peace.